Welcome back to another R Sports Squared video. Today we're doing another card grading reveal. Uh, this one from KSA Grading, a Canadian grading company. It was a long time wait for these cards to arrive back. Sent in seven cards uh, quite a while ago and just got them back. So we're gonna rip it open to the box and see what we get. So we, the package was received on April 21st, 2021 by KSA and we just received the box back on June 15th, 2022. So about 14 months later, uh, we sent in seven cards as I said. Uh, probably six of them were PC cards. We just wanted to see whether it was worth grading with KSA and then one card um, that was good at the time but sort of lost its value over the time. So I'll well, show you what that is. So let's get into the box. So this is a complete blind grading reveal. We haven't seen the grades yet. Um, we weren't even sure when these cards were coming back and they didn't send us any emails or updates along the way. Uh, so this will come as a surprise, whatever grades we get. As well, we also have our predictions of uh, what we thought the cards were going to be before we sent them in. So we might say what we thought they were. And we probably learned a few things along the way over the last 14 months, so we might have been a little off. Our first one is a Yarmar Jager rookie card from Upper Deck. Um, I thought this one would come in at an 8. And I thought it would come in as a 7. We'll see what we get. We get a 6.5, so we were both a little off. It came in a little bit lower than we hoped for, uh, only a 6.5. Um, just as a comparison, we did send off two cards uh, about the same time, one with MNT, one with KSA. The MNT one came back as a 9. Uh, the one from KSA came back as a six and a half, so uh, a little bit lower. Uh, but I think the the one we sent to MNT was slightly better, but uh, I didn't think that much different. So anyway, that's our first one, pretty low mark. Um, but I didn't expect really high grades on these ones. Our second one is a uh, Mike, Michael Jordan card uh, from the Bulls. This is his uh, hoops. Uh, I think it's 1990 hoops. 1991 hoops maybe uh, this is this all-star card um, I didn't think this one had a great grade but uh, maybe an eight or an eight and a half if we were lucky yeah I also thought it would be an eight or uh, even a seven uh, with these ones you're not really sure since they are older they're very hard to tell Let's see what we get and we came back as a nine so actually it's pretty that one's a beat our prediction so nice uh, nine on the Michael Jordan Always good to have him. Um, that one's pretty solid. Um, probably not a huge value on these. I think uh, the last nine and a half I saw sold for only about $20. So definitely one that we're just going to keep in our PC. Uh, decent grade on the Michael Jordan. And we have a, a second Jordan. Uh, this one just is base from the uh, same set as base. Um, I, I didn't think this one was as good. Uh, probably a 7 or an 8 I was hoping for at, uh, at best. Yeah, and I thought it was a 5 or 6, and I'm pretty sure when we looked at it before, it might have had a small smudge on it. Mm -hmm. uh, but I don't remember exactly where that was. We'll see what we got. We got an 8.5. So actually, uh, maybe better than I predicted. Uh, so an 8.5 and, and a 9 on the Michael Jordans. So not a bad grade there for the, the two Jordan cards. And now we'll get on to a, sort of a, a modern day or a fairly recent card, uh, Lafreniere. Uh, this was at the time when we sent this in, it was a pretty valuable card, but uh, since it was 14 months, uh, his stock sort of dropped a bit. Um, but he still has lots of potential, but definitely not as hot, uh, hot of a card as it once was. Um, I thought this was in pretty good shape, so I thought E9, and you thought. I thought a 10, I just thought uh, we put it in a sleeve and got it right out of the pack, so I was hoping that it came back perfect. The only thing is maybe the centering, and we'll see what we get. And it is a Gem Mint 10, so solid one on the Lafreniere, Young Guns, uh, so happy to get that one. Probably would have been nice to get this about uh, 10 months ago or a year ago, uh, but the, the weight was maybe, maybe not worth it uh, in the 14 months, but still a good grade on that one overall. Uh, so I think the last one we saw a KSA 9.5. I didn't see any KSA 
tens on uh, eBay, but I saw a KSA nine and a half, and it went for about one seventeen, and that's Canadian dollars. Yeah, so I uh, got a ten there, and it looks like I was right on the high grade. So uh, it's always nice to get a uh, ten in a young guns and potential uh, top prospects. It definitely would have been better to get it while he was fresh as the season went on. The value in his card kind of dropped and went more towards uh, Kaprizov. But uh, can't do anything about that now. And then we have a, uh, it's a Griffey Jr. Uh, this is his rated rookie from Don Ross. Um, so this one wasn't in great shape, uh, maybe a six or a seven. We'll see what we get. And uh, no, it was a very low mark, a four, unfortunately, on this one. I think some of the edges, it looks like, yeah, some of the edges don't look very good. Uh, they look a little bit rough, and the, the bottom corner is a little bit rough, and the top corner. So uh, definitely only the four on the rated rookie, unfortunately, but wasn't really expecting anything on this one great. Um, and it was just sort of a, a card that I had for 40 years plus, so I thought we'd get it slabbed up and see what it came back with as so this one will just go into our pc and not for sale but. yeah so it's one of those cards where you have it for so long and from such a early year that you didn't really take care of it that much or it kind of got tossed around eventually and there was better cards but uh still that's all right and our next one is a uh, ray bork this is his second year card so not his rookie uh definitely the edges on this one are a bit rough uh, so I, I didn't think this one would grade very high at all. I just really wanted to get it slabbed up as a, a card from the 19, early 1980s and when I was very, very young. Uh, so we'll see what we get. I, I was thinking it would be, I'd be happy if it came back as a three. And I thought it would uh, almost come back as a four or five, so we'll see what we get with this one. And back then, the OPG cuts were pretty rough. And actually it came back as a seven so that one kind of surprises me i wasn't expecting anything near a seven uh but i'll take it on the ray book ray bork second year card and our final card here is a paul coffee rookie again this one is uh an older card as well so i was th thinking about the same a three or a four I think that's sort of where we expected this one to come back as, uh, but Ray Bork being a seven, maybe maybe we have some luck. And we did. Actually, not a bad grade there. Uh, six and a half on the uh, Paul Coffey rookie. Um, so that's a, a decent one overall. Uh, so the last uh, seven and a half sold for about $70. So I imagine a six, six and a half might sell for about you know, 40 or $50, uh, but I'm not sure too sure of the values. If we can find any values, we'll put them in the video. Uh, but a, kind of a cool one there of Paul Coffey Rookie. And I have a couple of these slabbed up and uh, this one in a KSA holder. I also have one in an MNT holder. Overall, um, not too bad on the, the KSA holders. Uh, they look fairly solid. A little bit better in person than I expected. Um, just to compare uh, with the a PSA slab um, similar size uh, PSA slabs are just a little bit taller but a little bit thinner um, not quite as wide uh, but uh, decent slabs on the KSA but probably I wouldn't go with them again just because it took so long uh, I know their prices have now gone up since we sent in the submission to, uh, but it was always fun to get a uh, card grading reveal back and find out what we got after 14 months and Probably made some different decisions now, but uh, hindsight being 2020. So again, thanks for joining us in today's KSA greeting reveal. Yeah, thanks for joining us. Make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, I'm pretty happy that we finally got this back because it's been a long time in the making of wanting to do this video and got some better grades than we wanted. So we'll see you next time.